Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this section. In this lesson, we'll be learning about bar charts and histograms. Basically, how we are going to configure a bar chart into a histogram and then how we're going to do a deep analysis into the different types of channels and the row counts and how we're going to change frequencies along the way. So let's get right to it. Let's go to our typical spot fire. The first thing, of course, that we need to do is to go to our visualizations and make a bar chart. Here we have a bar chart. The part of the row count is something that I do want, but let's change this to a value that we need. Now I've opened this area over here. This, this is how you open it. You go to the expand option. And if you choose values uh, like price and unit cost, the auto bin option comes. Now what this is, is if you do not select the auto bin option, each unit cost is given a different bar. However, if you select the auto bin option, they're taken down into single bins. Of course, the default bins. Over here, when we select price, the same happens. You can select the auto bin option to change it. However, I want to go with the unit cost. So right now, what we're analyzing is this histogram over here. And you can go underneath to change the amount of bins. The further you go away, the lesser, um, the more bins are used. So right now, what I want to do is reduce the amount of bins to make it more um, easy to work with. And I want to work around with the trellis and the colors. So for now, I want to do a deep analysis on the data on unit cost. I want to know which countries are using, like uh, which regions contain a large amount of unit cost. Okay, so we can see that the region of North America uh, consists quite a lot of uh, the sales and the unit costs. These are, uh, this is the region Asia and this is the region Europe. So this is basically telling me the unit cost spent by each region. So this is one analysis that I can do. The second analysis that I want to do is based on channels. So let's go to the channels and let's change this by trellis. So when I go to each channel, I can see in the catalog sector, what happens is that the row count is mostly based on North America. However, in online and uh, store and reseller area, each region is dominant in its own way. Of course, we can see that for the store area, North America is the most dominant. You can see that everywhere North America is dominant, but Asia is equally as dominant along with Europe in the online and reseller area. So we can suggest that on the online and reseller area, all the regions are in equity. However, in the catalog and the store area, North America dominates over the rest. So this is something that we can do. Other than this, we can go and create a details visualization, but that's something I do not want to do right now. Let's go to the properties. In the properties, you have the option of the general title. You have the data option. You have the appearance option. You have the formatting fonts, category, access, and of course you can change the number of bins from over here as well. You can also add a minimum range. Maybe I want to add uh, the unit cost to a thousand and the maximum is okay. Let's add some more zeros. When I close this, you can see that my data is filtered. It's filtered in the wrong way. So let's not work around with that right now. However, I still want to see the properties options where I'll go to the value axis and you can see you can uh, choose multiple scales and it changes the graph style, of course. But when you're working with one axis with a single scale, it defines it better. You can add options of the tooltip where you can add columns as uh, for example maybe I want to get to know the cost of sales so when I hover over each thing I get to know the cost of sales 
as well. So as you can see, the x value is between 0 and 100 and over here it's defined as well. And the histograms are pretty set. So I hope you've understood how to work around with histograms and bar charts and how to analyze your data and make sure that it's a histogram as well because when you're working with frequency densities, you work with your histograms. So I hope you've understood how to work around with histograms and bar charts and I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.